What's up? As you can tell by the title of the video, I'm going to go over why I think people um, underestimate Connor's wrestling grappling ability. Okay? One is he never really has to use it because his stand up so good. You can tell in, his, in a lot of his early fights, he would, you know, choose to stand up a lot. No one could really take him down. The distance, the distance of timing that he would create really hard for guys to shoot in on him so that the grappling was never really a factor. They never, it never really came up. The first time we really saw him grapple heavily was when he fought Max Holloway and he tore his ACL, so he didn't really have any other option but to make the fight close and then use the grappling for the rest of the fight. But in that fight with Max Holloway, we saw good top pressure. We saw, you know, good ground and pound, all that stuff. We saw it again when he fought Chad Mendez. Chad Mendez had him in a super tight guillotine. We saw his his high level jujitsu. He rolled out of that. I think they call it like a. I, don't, I forget what. Uh, I forget what Connor and uh, Coach Kavanaugh call it, but I, it was called some kind of roll they they came up with. But he, that was super high level jujitsu. And then I think when people saw him fight Habib, and Habib controlled Connor just like Habib controls everyone. People were like, oh, Connor doesn't have any grappling and all this, this, and that. But it's really not like that. There's just different levels to grappling. But Connor's grappling is very high level, as you can see in the video. He's going with high level guys. Um, and, and, and I think that it's more of like a casual take when people really don't understand what they're talking about, that Connor doesn't have like good grappling. Um, someone who can, who, someone who's been grappling for a while, um, like myself, or people who have grappled for even a longer time than myself can break his his wrestling technique down and his grappling technique and be like that guy knows what he's doing that guy's actually a legitimate brown belt you know he has good hips it's really hard to, sh to shoot underneath of him um but yeah I, I i think that's a reason why people that that the narrative is that connor doesn't have like the best grappling but i think that connor's grappling is very underrated and that it's actually one of his assets so uh, if you like this video, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. I'll come out with more of these, trying to do uh, at least three, four a week. So thanks for the support. Peace out.